high-speed rail may be coming to Las Vegas in the form of an electric train from California and Los Angeles, and this looks to be the real deal. Let's talk about that. My name's Steven. Let's start the video with a clap to everybody's got to wake up. It's early morning. Clap action. So like, share, subscribe this video and comment below. Would you take a high speed train from Los Angeles to Las Vegas if the train existed? Because it looks like we might be getting to a place where the train really might exist. And what's going on is simple enough. We have Richard Branson, who owns the Virgin Group, changing over the Hard Rock Hotel into a Virgin branded resort here, closing in February 2020. So make sure you see the Hard Rock if you haven't seen it yet here in Las Vegas. He doesn't just have that at stake in town. He wants to build a high speed train from Los Angeles to Las Vegas. Now let's talk about some stats and figures and how cool this could really be. It will number one take three years to build. If it starts building, it starts building in 2020. Number two, over a thousand jobs will be created. Number three, it'll run parallel to the 15, which is how people already drive from Los Angeles to California uh, to Las Vegas. And number four, it will take 4.5 million cars uh, or reduce 4.5 million cars off the roads. Hopefully we'll be able to cut that number down of people that actually drive here every single year. It'll also take only 75 to 90 minutes as opposed to the three hours it takes to do that same drive in. But it only goes to Victorville to start. And if you're asking what is a Victorville, where is Victorville, don't worry. You don't know it's there unless you have to go there. It's a small town on the outskirts of Los Angeles, and I'm sure it's a very nice place, but that's where this train would initially start and run into Las Vegas. There are plans to move it into Palmdale and then down into Union Station, which is where all the Amtraks and stuff actually meet up on the coast in California, because although Vegas doesn't have any Amtrak, they still use Amtraks in California. I still think it's a popular way, and I've actually ridden on that train a few times to go from San Diego to LA. It's quite the nice ride over there. Um, this could be a great thing. This hasn't happened in the past. Usually when governments are asked to spend a lot of money, people who are in lobbyist groups go in and then what they have is called pork gets built into it. So not only are we building this, but we're now funding that. And governments just don't like to spend money. But since this is a private investor, there's a possibility that there's minimal government money involved. However, we do see from experience that the Virgin trains down in Florida did take about $150 million in municipal bonds. So we'll see how much money they are asking. Heaven knows that here in Vegas, we have a tendency to spend money on things we shouldn't, like the Raider Stadium. But, you know, heck, if this brings people into the city, they always look at it like, how much do we pay to get what kind of a return? Would this bring a lot more people into the city? I think once it is built out, it's going to be a viable option for people to actually travel here, especially considering that you get an extra hour and a half to yourself when you're not driving. That's three hours that you can have and save your life because time is money. It's a commodity. We only have so much of it. Uh, it's a limited commodity. We only have so much of it. Um, I think it's a good thing. And if it does happen, it will start, like I say, building in 2020 with a rollout in 2023. There was a commissioner's meeting yesterday where they talked about all this stuff. It's in its initial planning phases. When you're talking about spending somewhere in the area of 100, 200, or even more hundred millions of dollars, People have to proceed with caution and go slowly. They have to get land rights. And since they're doing it predominantly on government land next to the 15, it shouldn't be much of an issue for them, I wouldn't imagine. So would you take a high-speed train into Las Vegas from California, even if it meant you had to take some other form of transportation to get to a place like Victor Belleville until this actually gets built out to the Union Station in LA? You tell me in the comments below, or do you think that this is just another thing that's not going to work when it comes to rail travel? Because uh, there's a lot of people that aren't fans of the rail travel. Big in Europe, not so big over here. Like, share, subscribe to the video if you're just browsing through. It's a car video so I can go start my day, and we'll talk to you guys in another one. You're the best part of my day, and I really appreciate you. Bye-bye.